Well, whatever you do, I'll either love you or hate you. So, <laughs> no pressure. Hello there. I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode of Kingdoms and Friends, we have Peter Stewart, who works on the Magic Arena team at Wizards of the Coast. If you enjoy these episodes, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and comment who you'd like us to play with next. Hey everybody, I'm uh, Peter Stewart. I'm a lead software engineer at Wizards working on Magic Arena. I've been there for almost two years uh, and I'm honored to be uh, invited to play a game with the Kingdoms folks. They're awesome, I love their content and yeah, just super excited to jam a CEDH game. Uh, today I'm playing Kenner the Return King. Uh, this is a five color good stuff deck. I'm playing a, a mid-range variant It includes all of your standard CEDH win cons, Thassa's Oracle, Demonic Consult, Underworld Breach Lines. There are ways to loop Dockside with Kenrith and a Sack Outlet. And then I also included the Teferi Displacer Kitten combo as well. So hopefully we're going to make a lot of treasures and uh, go infinite and draw our opponents out with Kenrith's activated ability. Awesome. Hey everybody, uh, Carlos and I'm playing my, again, original CEDH deck, Cast Dissident Mage. I actually have a lot of the same win cons as Peter just said, but the deck does focus on value uh, with Kess in the graveyard. One of the benefits is my Thassa's combos can, the tutors can be, the, like the Tainted Pact and the Demonic Consultation can be used as tutors and then help you know, get rid of your deck. Um, so it's a nice little double whammy there, but um, I have most of the uh, wheels and things like that uh, to try and take advantage of that. and. I think most of the time I win through through Asses Oracle, so see well, if the Merfolk takes me there this time. Sweet. This is Jason S, and I uh, decided, as well as Discord says, I woke up and chose violence, and I'm playing Gijila. <laughs> um, so it's five color uh, better stuff, as they say. It's, it's the same, you know, silly CDHness. Um, I love this deck. It's kind of the deck I show people to explain. This is what CDH is. And just running really tight, hyper-efficient things that are happen to be warriors and make treasures and do silly things. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can win through combat and have multiple angles of attack, just like everybody else. So my name's Ben. I have been gone for a little while. I'm super pumped to be back playing with uh, the fellows tonight. And I'm going to be playing Essica. I've played this a couple times on the channel. The list is always changing every day it seems like it's kind of a hot mess but tend to try to win through some of the classic cdh lines that i've already been talked about like thought historical and tainted pact or uh some of the other shenanigans like even some little bit of Najila potentially could come out so we'll uh we'll see how it goes cool well uh pre games from anybody i should here uh, as i say that i have one nope. but uh i have this <gasps> glittering caves of aglarond aka Gemstone Caverns. Fortunately, I have to get rid of something. Can it be a land? Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can mm -hmm. pitch a land and be Mana Screwed. Do it. <laughs> Good. He kept, he kept a two lander with Gemstone. Ca yeah. Carlos is like a 90% chance of like turn one <laughs> Mox Diamond Mana Screwed. Oh, jeez. I don't know how he does it. It's kind of um, amazing. So. Luxury Suite will be exiled. And I have a luck counter. And that'll be my action. Go for it. All right. Draw a card for turn. I am going to start with an underground C, and then I am going to cast a Mox Diamond. Mm. Assuming that is good, I am going to discard a Wooded Foothills. I am going to tap these two for a Wish Claw Talisman. Ish. And that will come in ah. with three Wish Counters on it. Caster. Draw. I'm going to play a Marsh Flats and crack it for underground c i didn't think i'd have to like i'd miss that much like on going for a second turn uh mystic remora hey, that's not bad all right Don't well that'll be my turn guys. untap draw fish packed fish packed fish land pass land fish packs when your first turn is like seriously <laughs> I'm gonna, uh oh, sorry i'm gonna play a windswept heath as my land for turn then i'll play oh, carlos you're, you're at 39 right because of the fish lane yeah yep and uh any response to me drawing jason uh no although on cast actually sorry maybe don't you dare 
Maybe I do something on that because that's an Ajila right away. Is it? I mean, the Ajila is the S tier deck in the pod. I mean, really. Is it? No way. Right. You know it's Kenrith. Come Car on. What? S cookie for the sure. Ajila, dude. <laughs> Carlos, save me. You're my only hope. You have a blocker. You're fine, Carlos. I won't come after you. I have a blocker. A blocker? What are you talking about? It's a fish. It's an enchantment. <laughs> I'm trying to wink. I don't know if you can see with my glasses on. <laughs> I think I have to waste my hand, basically. Oh, come on. Don't do this. Don't step on a wire right now. You have to have... Oh, nice. Force oh. of Negation. Uh, exiling exile Ledger it? Shredder. I would just counter your commander, but I can't counter it with Force it of Negation. It exiles the Lotus on resolution, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In response, mm -hmm. I'm going to crack. Fight, 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 fight. And... Uh, I'm going to get a Tropical. Cast a Veil of Summer. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, I will... Mystic Remora? Yeah, I have no response to Mystic. Car no response uh, ben, to do you have a response? I, no, uh, I, have, I have no response. Veil. Okay, you have cast a... My opponents have cast a blue or black spell, so I'm going to draw. <laughs> and I'll <laughs> cast Najila with three Commander Red mana. And I will pass the turn. Draw off turn. I will, since we got a fish on the board, I will just play a Scalding Tarn for turn. And I will pass. Draw for turn. I'm going to take a page out of Ben's playbook, and I'm going to play a Balin's Tomb, otherwise known as an Ancient Tomb, as land for turn, and I'm going to move it so that it's not caught in glare. And then I'm going to uh, pass. Untap, upkeep. That's a great card. A one, draw a card. Fish. Play a Volcanic Island. Play a Lotus Petal. I'll pass the turn. Excellent. Untap, draw. Bloodstained Myers, land for turn. Let's go to combat. Think how angry you were when he tried to counter your spell. Dude, uh, right? I'm going to go at Ben with Najila and Carlos with the warrior token. Take three commander damage. No blocks. And I'll pass. I don't want to feed no fish. Right, at the end of your turn, I will tap and crack my Scalding Tarn to get a breeding pool. So I'm going to go to my turn, untap, upkeep, drop turn. I'm going to go ahead and play a Marsh Flats, crack it for a Temple Garden, which I'll shock in. I'm going to play, Den uh, first time I've ever playing this guy in my whole life, Denik Highest Apprentice. He has 2-3 oh, lifelink. Okay. Yeah, cards can't be the targets of spells or abilities, and then he has a uh, Disturb ability as well. In, in your graveyard or any graveyard? Cards in graveyards. If that's good, I am done with my turn. All right, draw for turn. Yeah, then I guess I'm going to play a Badlands for turn. Tap the uh, Ancient Tomb, taking two. First blood on myself, going to 38. And that's one, two, three, four, five. And I would like to attempt to cast a Kinrith. I <laughs> no, that's fine. Dude. have to counter it. Just regular counter spell? Just a regular old gorgeous, my favorite art of any kind of magic art kind of stuff ever. I love those counter spell archives. Yeah, they're awesome. What and you tapped what for that, sorry? Mm, these two. I'm gonna let it be countered so it will go to the command zone with the counter. Yeah, I'll untap. <laughs> uh, I'll pay. So I got not a I'll draw a card. Um unfortunately I just pass. Okay, before your turn I'm gonna crack my fetch. Go to thirty eight and get a scrubland. I'll untap draw, and then I'll play a polluted delta as my land for turn. I'll send a Gila and a warrior at Carlos, and then the two new warriors are coming at you, Peter. Sounds good. Oh, he no bucks. Okay. And I guess I'll pass the turn. I will untap, upkeep, and draw for turn. I'll play a land for turn. I'm going to play Thrawn Quarry. Tap for a red and mm -hmm. a green and a green. And I'm going to play this weird card called Najila. I didn't eat that. Just not a joke, Ben. Yeah. Your information was family found. suffer every year. <laughs> yeah, your information was found on the dark web. He's even looks better. I'm gonna pass the turn. Untap, up, keep, draw for turn. I uh, I'm gonna tap uh, Balin's tomb, taking two, going to thirty four. I'm gonna float two colorless. I'm gonna use one of them, leaving one colorless floating to activate the wish claw talisman. I am going to choose to give it to Ben. Ooh, nice. <laughs> In case you're wondering my rationale. This is not great. Unless there's some crazy reason to pick someone else, I feel like normally you just give it to the person who will be able to use it last. You know, that's for so the viewers We're, at we're home. still dead. Uh, no, he gave it to me because he likes me best. Oh, that too. That's right. All right, so I'm going to go get a card, mystery card. I am going to play a City of Traitors 
per turn. Ooh. And then I would like to use the one colorless floating tap city of traders for two colorless. And then I guess we'll use the Badlands as the fourth to uh, cast a one ring. Trigger Remora. Can't take. It's all you. Um, I have a response to the Remora trigger. I'm going to cast an Orcish Bowmaster. I'm going to respond to Bowmaster. Okay. I'm going to force, force of will, exiling Trigger Remora. I got nothing. Dang it. So pre Bowmaster draw. Um, I yep. already know what it was. Yeah. I have nothing. So now we're back to the force is on top. Okay. Force counters. Remora draw. Okay. Yep. All right. It's one resolves. ring hits. Beep, 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 beep. When the one ring enters the battlefield, if you cast it, you gain protection from everything until your next turn. And then it's signed by Marta Nail, who's awesome, by the way. Met her in Barcelona. But yeah, I'll uh, go ahead and activate the one ring, adding a burden counter. And drawing a card, I'm gonna have to pass to uh, you, Carlos. Um, untap, upkeep. Yeah, I'll pay three for Cremora. Ooh, he's down bad. Holy cow! Told you guys, you guys have been. This has un... really been sandbagging the game in an interesting way. You've been afraid of me for the wrong reasons. Hey Ben, do you want to hit Carlos for a billion warrior damage? I want to hit everybody with, for a billion. If you if you don't hit me, I won't hit you. There this we go. Next, this next one turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pass. Nice. Okay. Untap. Drow. Play a Scalding Tarn as land for turn. Then I'll cast Ye Old Noblest of High Arcs. I go to combat. Cool. Uh, looking, everything's going cool to Carlos. Up. So 10 damage. Carlos, I feel like we need to be friends, dude. They're bullying you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I haven't bullied anybody. They're like, oh, he's the he's the main kingdom's guy. We can oh, just no, do no, no. whatever Car we Car want. Carlos, is, so, so here's the thing about Najila. I'm not attacking the threat. I'm attacking what makes me give it warriors. <laughs> and I can still deal damage, too. I stir uh, chaos. Well, no, I think you. you're... I, I don't care, but I think... I do, if your objective, think that you guys should have been attacking... You should have been attacking Ben, uh, Jason. Yeah, they should oh, be attacking yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, we, for fist, sure. we fist bumped, though. Yeah, right, fist that bumped. was a bad move on Jason's part. This could be awesome. true. See I'm going to go ahead and fetch. Go to this, you know. Down is Cast an Elves of Deep Shadow. No, right. I'll Kill. pass the turn after that. Uh, I, I have an effect on your instead. I have a way to make sure that he can't use the Witch Claw. Now he has two cards in hand, and how much mana open? None. So he, he'd have to have, if he packed it, he's dead. No, I guess he could Witch Claw Talisman in response and like get like a Dark Ritual, just pay for pack, but then he like time walks himself. So I'm pretty confident that his options are pretty limited. Like, if he has it, he has it. And if whatever I cast, Carl is actually going to give you a card. So just, you know, remember me as you win. Yeah, yeah. You know? Going on um, around here. Yeah. I am going to play a card uh, called Soul Partition. So I'm going to tap oh, this uh, and then the Mox ooh. Diamond for white. So oh. exile target non-land permanent for as long as that card remains exiled, its owner may play it, which is me. And then interesting, it says I love that. A, a spell cast by an opponent this way costs two more to cast. But if I cast it, it's just a normal mana cost. That is a great Nasty. little combo with the Wish Cloud I've never seen. Yeah. Nasty. I didn't want it anyway. We'll trigger the Remora. Trigger Remora. Yeah, that goes first. I, I opened a foil one of those the other day and I was very excited. Yeah, no, that's a good card. All right, go All ahead. right, I will uh, never forget that. So untap, drop turn, play a Windswept Teeth, crack that bad boy. Right, I'm going to shock in a stomping ground. So I'll take two more. Let's do okay. green, green, green. I'm going to attempt to cast my commander eska she's a one four vigilance and then she can tap to add mana of any color and then other legendary creatures i control have vigilance and tap to add one mana of any uh, color cryptolith right kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah right, right, right yeah. i'm gonna swing at one over you got it that's fine yeah we fist bumped carlos we can't, we can't fist bump, attack yeah. peter just for the trigger no five five I'll damage take... that would be six throwing. damage um six six total damage two of it is lifelink so i will Here's my soldier. I'll get the real deal here in a second. Post combat, I'll tap for a white and a black and a whatever. And I'll tap for a very poorly timed Timna. Go ahead and pass my turn while I search for a, a warrior token. So, Carlos, yep. I am going to have a proposition for you here in a second. And I think it's going to be an offer you can't refuse. Ooh. And it's not going to be the card offer you can't refuse. But you'll <laughs> see. So, I am going to untap, upkeep. The one ring trigger is going to go on the stack. I'm going to lose a life, going to 32. But still, before my draw step, I am actually going to tap the one ring, uh, increase the burden counters, and draw two. Here's what I'm thinking, Carlos. Well, actually, let me proceed to my regular draw to like have the most information before I start. How's it going, man? You feeling all right? <laughs> me? I'm Carlos? Dying. No, no, you guys, I'm, I'm not dying. talking to you right now. 
I'm Carlos. feeling stressed. Thanks for asking. So, Carlos, I'm, I'm out of I the game. Like... If Jason gets an uninterrupted oh, turn, you know. I can get you back in the game. No, no, I just mean like I'm dead for sure. Come oh, an uninterrupted well, Jason de- game. Yeah, so, yeah, well, well, don't so. worry. I, I, they call me Peter the Interrupter. Yeah. So, yeah. if you remember. Soul Partition lets me recast Wishclaw. I am totally down because your deck runs a lot of wheels. I can promise you I will play Wishclaw, fetch Orcish Bowmasters, give it to you if you promise to get a wheel, and I will use every single solitary point of damage to clear their entire board if you do that. And get a 21-21. I mean, it's one thing though, right? Like yeah, think, yeah. it's way less scary than twenty one one ones, right? You don't have to take I, the deal, what, but I'm here's what like... my deal will be a counter offer. If sure. I if I use the wish claw, uh-huh. I will get a wheel. But I won't okay. guarantee that I will use the wish claw if I don't need to. I don't I mean like I probably need to, but that's what I can get, offer. I don't want to be locked into like having to do that on my turn. But if I do end up using the wish claw, I will promise to get a wheel. Okay. That's what so I how about offer. this? It, it's both. I'll meet you in the middle again. It's both or none. Like if you if you're not gonna wheel, you can't use the wish claw on the same turn either. It has to be both or none. You see what I'm saying? Like you don't have to necessarily use the sure. wish claw on your turn, sure. yeah. but you, yeah. if you use it, you have to, you're committing to using it. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I'm telling you, we're both just gonna die if we don't do something similar sure. to Bowmasters. But I might get like um, I could draw a toxic deluge. And that might be better yeah, for probably. me than like yeah. you know yeah okay so um i'm going to play a land for turn we are going to slam a polluted delta as land for turn are you gonna float um, off of city of traders oh shoot yeah because the triggers <laughs> uh, it goes on the stack huh yeah that's unfortunate um Blue Delta comes down, City of Traitors, City of Traitors goes onto the stack. I will float two in response. It goes to the graveyard, so I have two colorless here. And then I will use one of the colorless and the black from Badlands to recast the Wishclaw Talisman from Exile, which I'm allowed to do because of Soul Partition. Uh, it's going to re... Uh, yeah, all you... you know, what so- about our deal that we were all going to be nice to Ben? Hey, we never made that deal. I don't think uh, I signed that form, but yeah, um, you should have got that see, writing. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use my last colorless floating, activate the wish claw, um, giving it to Carlos, so it's gonna come over to you, tapped with two wish counters on it, and then yeah, I'm gonna go again. I don't have to show, but I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna show you that I, um, I, I get Orcish Bowmasters. So I have my mystery card, aka Bowmasters, pass to Carlos. All right, Mr. Cremora. See you later. You didn't get me any lands. Not a single bloody land. I'll drop a turn. You failed me. Oh, that's not a land either. That's so crazy. Come on, Carlos. And then Do I can it. swing in. And then I I've can swing been, in. I've been policing the game from behind this whole time. I'm giving you a fresh hand, my guy. Like <laughs> a fresh hand and tapped out, un like open to the world. What if you draw fast mana? What if you draw fast mana, Carlos? The possibility that's like one mana. Literally list, draws the oracle combo off of the wheel and yes. <laughs> I literally have to even use my Lotus Petal to to wheel and Wishclaw. It's like, dude. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Carlos, Carlos, anyone could do Carlos. it. Cats could do it. The chat is gonna rip you, rip you on if you don't do it. Come on, Carlos. I guess I do this no matter what. There's only two dockside options. I mean, at least I I have two, and yeah, the Nigila decks aren't playing squat for so artifacts, this, huh? I mean, it pays for itself. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, yeah. I'll pl- I'll play a dock side. Any response? Negative Ghost a Rider. Weird, a weird dock side. I get a creature at least. And then. Yep. Um, Yo, the wheel. Hello. The wheel. I just got like some good cards though, you know? I don't want to have to use the interaction of my hand on you out of spite. Just saying. Now, threats are, maybe threats I have, are yeah, coming. Maybe I have some protection now, you know? I don't know. He's oh, well, that's come and bad cop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand. But yeah, sure. We'll, we'll go blow for a blow. That's fine. Okay. That would kill only us. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's in it's both of our best interests to stay alive by right. wheel. Mm-hmm. So- sounds like Peter watched Barbie and Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. Can you kill everything? You Can you kill everything? Dude, if we wheel, that's 21 damage. So that's... Uh, seven plus his two dorks is nine. Najila is eleven, and then Ben has Najila is thirteen. Timna is fifteen. Uh, Pious guy is what a three toughness. Yeah. Eighteen, mm-hmm. and then how many warriors do you have? Just one. 
So that's only 19, and I won't touch you. But with the, the commander's last a 1 4. Okay, so he I still could. Has, he still has plenty over. Then, yeah, I just kill that instead of the pious guy. That's not that big of a deal. No, right? I need the I pious guy like dead like the most, almost. Oh, oh, oh. Well, then you tell me where to redistribute it. Like, I'll I'll kill whatever. If you want to leave Timna alive or something, I don't know. Like, here. I have a good hand. Yeah. And but but not a winning hand. I have a good. Okay. And my fear is that now I'm going to give everyone also more stuff. Yeah, you're gonna give me six more cards. So I mean, everyone's gonna have cards, seven. and I'll have the least life, and everyone gets to go before me with that new hand. Mm. That's, that's always the concern. That's when you wheel. what I'm balancing is is clearing the board worth giving everybody a new start before I even get to take my start, and I'm not and sure fair. if that is worth it. Not not that the yeah. My calculus is usually: Are you staring death in the face? And the answer is technically yes. Like yeah. you are definitely well, staring death in the I, face right now. If Jason comes at me, I can take care of Najila. I'd still take like I don't know eight, probably eight damage, but I could take care of Najila. But if it doesn't come at me, then I don't have to take care of Najila right away. And so, anyways, um, it's a hard, it's a hard decision to be in. Well, whatever you do, I'll either love you or hate you. So, <laughs> no pressure. Oh, no, I, Comment down below what you think Carlos is gonna do. Why it. can't we be? Why why are we fighting? Why why can't we be on the same team, Carlos? Think about if you draw breach. That's that's easy to recast, and then you crack your pedal, recast the pedal. You start getting mana. You wheel again, and then you have fuel for your breach. Breath. Because in so all of that situation, you have a uh, bowmaster. I will not ping any permanence or you until they are both dead. With Bowmaster, I can promise Save you that. Save you for last. That's pretty yeah. good. That's pretty good. All right, I'll take that. Then. So to be clear for like the chat, any lawyers in the chat, I'm saying Bowmasters will not point any of the pings at anything Carlos owns, including his own face, until Jason and Ben are both out of the game. All right, let's talisman it up. I think Obviously, I want it, but you should yeah, get it I to think Ben. ben because he's the farthest the in turn order, and he has yeah. one card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can have the talisman there, Ben. Here's my, my fancy foil Wheel of Fortune. Um, Here, I think you got exile. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Cracking a Lotus Petal and two treasures to pay for it. In Anything response else? To wheel, okay. I'm going to crack my fetch land. Already took Lost Life. And I'm going to cast a Vampiric Tutor. And I'll okay. Force of Will the uh, Vampiric Tutor. Unfortunately, exiling a Ristic Study. Losing a life. All right, in response to the Force... If I'm remembering correctly, it's wheel vamp force is a stat, right? Yes. Yep. Uh -huh. I am going to underground C for black. Uh, take two from the Ballin's tomb, going to thirty, floating two colorless, and then I will use one of those colorless. Um, so if it's one black, one colorless in total, to um, flash in an Orcish Bowmasters. But I'm going to hold priority, and I'm going to tap the Mox Diamond and cast a Silence on top of the Orcish Bowmasters. Yeah. So I will pass priority after with Orcish and Silence. I got nothing. Silence I I resolves, got it. and then well, I assume Bowmasters I hits. Um, so on ETB, what do you what do you want me to kill first? Just I think you can I kill it all, iron. except for some so, uh, warriors. Sure, sure, sure. I, and maybe it's it's moot, but it's just the first ETB trigger, right? Because the um, oh, sure. wheel's still on the I don't stack. think there's anything... Um, I mean, I guess a, a dork just in case. Dork. Yeah. Sure. I'll kill the elves of deep shadow with the initial ETB. Okay. I think we're at you. wheel then. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Yeah. So I was losing Grim Tutor, Gamble, um, Ristic Study, which I already got rid of, Necropotence, um, Reanimate, and Lightning Bolt. I had oh, Reanimate yeah. for um, his Ogre's Bowmaster for like. But but you'll you'll forever. have it all there though, Carlos. That's the magic of it. I'm discarding consultation well, only in and Elder call. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm discarding cool. Linvala, Keeper of Silence. I got Diabolic Intent, Tropical Island, Pact of Negation, Marsh Flats, and Arid Mesa. Drawing Dr seven. Draw seven, Draw seven, yeah. seven right? All right. Orcus triggers. Okay. Are you kidding? Uh, Guess yeah. what? I got zero lands. I've drawn zero, zero lands out of what? all of that Don't stuff. Choice your whole, don't choose your whole hand. But... Oh, this is a graveyard. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, well, this was not my game. I'll pass. Yeah, so Bowmasters goes on the stack, so it's 21 damage that you can split up. So 
remind me again. So your toughness. I think you Jason, can kill you all have... all non-token creatures at least, and then yeah. as many of Jason's tokens as you can after that. So Najila's two noble hierarch makes three total. Um, Ben's commander makes seven total. Uh, Timna makes nine total. Najila makes eleven total. The pious guy makes fourteen total. And then we have seven more, so we'll just go ahead and wipe all of Jason's. Yeah, I think everything but one of Ben's tokens lives. Warriors. Yep. Ouch. Oof. Okay. Yep. Untap. Okay. Draw. <laughs> go command tower. Let's go tinder wall. Three. Go for a ranger captain of Eos. <clears throat> Get Needs Deathrite Shaman. And I will cast said Deathrite Shaman. And then I will pass the turn. Untap. Drop turn. Go ahead and tap for a blue, and I'm going to attempt to cast a Mystic Remora. I'm going to tap uh, a blue and two others to cast a Rhystic Study. I had two cool plays, so I'm going to follow it up with a bad play, and uh, I'm going to play a Cavern of Souls, and I'm going to name Halfling, and I'm going to cast Delighted Halfling. <laughs> All right, so in that case, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and just pass turn. Untap. Give an action to my upkeep. My opponents can't cast non-creature spells this turn. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I will have a response to that. Um, because it's it's the one ring trigger that, and then I'm going to activate the one ring in response. So I will actually take an extra damage when it goes through because it actually looks at it again. But um, I'm going to draw three though, but that's fine. Okay, yeah, I'm going to respond to the um fracking. I'm going to ask you guys if it's okay to shortcut. If you don't want me to, that's totally okay. Uh, instead of this polluted delta, I'm going to also cast Eladomir's Call. So I just figure I could search the land at the same time as your sure. creature. That's great. Yeah, um, two, two draw, or I guess we'll go in order. Two draw triggers. One for Aristic and one for Mystic. So, Mystic. And Bowmasters? So Bowmasters triggers. Yep. Um, <laughs> Twice. <laughs> so I'm going to... Uh, what, so what, is your own, what is your creature again? Um... I have a death right. Here? It's a one two. Tinder walls is zero three. Ben right, has yeah, yeah. one one. A delighted halfling, and I think yeah, kill the delighted halfling. That's jacked up. One oh, one and a I one two. Yeah. I absolutely will do your delighted halfling. Oh, um, child. And so also a mass two more, so it's a twenty four. Wait, you you said mine? My, really? Yeah, flavor mm -hmm. win. Because if I I I'm gonna you know, and I'll explain my reasoning, and I could be wrong, but both of you are sort of roughly in the same ballpark so if i point everything at jason and he dies then you're alive with a grip full of cards That's if i point everything ever. at you and you die jason's alive but he doesn't have 10 more cards so the undelighted oh. undelighted halfling sorry man um but yeah so delighted halfling's dead um but you drew your cards okay so now eladomri's in the fetch lane are good to resolve yeah yes sir now fired, yeah. now fired up because and and just so we're clear too i'm gonna use the polluted delta to fetch uh probably a uh i guess we can do a black white source and then um the mox diamond will tap for the green yeah so i'm gonna get the the scrub lines fine yeah so hand right there i'm gonna go get displacer kitten blink the one ring yes sir it's so heavy sam are we dead peter uh not quite because you locked me out unfortunately because kenrith because he's seven i was looking at my hand like oh i have a some sort of acceleration that I won't say, but I can't cast it because it's. Yep. And if I cast it my upkeep, it'll fizzle. So it's like, yep. eh, you know. But I'm very well positioned to to win again for sure. So okay, so I took the three damage, going to 27. Now I can finally draw my card for the turn. I will play a tundra. All right, we'll go to 25, tapping mm -hmm. Balin's tomb for two colorless, and then we'll um do Badlands. Underground? See, I'm hold, keeping my hand on it like a chess piece. Hold on here. Uh, well, now my hand's not on oh, it. Oh, no, That's it's fine. over. I'll do this before, and then I'll, I'll play Displacer Kitten. Who do I... It's, oh, I can... Oh, you still have your thingy, huh? So, wait, yeah, so that... Uh... Well, can, yeah. Oh, right, right. You can decline to draw, though. Because if you don't, you're getting clocked for, like, 27. So, up to you. <laughs> one card at 27 life. Yeah, you might want to keep your 1-1 one, one blocker. Why would you come at me? Because well, you have, like you I told you, you have a mystic you... and a rhystic. No, I know, I know. I'm just, yeah. no, I'm just. Yeah, you got a flea yeah. I will, I will hold off on that. Because you can't cast spells this turn either. Right, right, right. Okay, so the displacer I obviously didn't pay for. But you're going to decline to draw from rhystic, sure. I, uh, I'm going to swing it at Jason. So it is a 24-24. Tinder wall. 
block. Boom. Uh, yeah, and then I think I will pass. Can I draw land this entire game? Oh, wow. The day that Carlos draws a land, we die. It's... Oh, wow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Carlos, 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 I'm so sorry. I forgot to discard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Before you do anything else. Discard oh, I better put this card at the bottom of my deck. I already know what it is. I'm going to discard an ignoble hierarch and oh. a... I guess we'll do a Bloodstained Mire as well. Sorry, proceed. I now have seven cards in hand. Now let's just throw out a Ragavan. Triggering Ristic not paying. You're going to take the card then? Yeah, actually. Bowmaster is yep. triggered. Good yep. to resolve that. Uh, well, I guess I declare a target first. Sorry, that's technically first. I will point it at your guy. Yep. Bye, warrior. Yeah. Warrior. We'll go to heaven. Uh, unfortunately, Valhalla. I can not really do anything else. That's uh, my turn. Okay. It's I guess I could have dashed it. I wasn't... That's funny. Nah, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, because then you would have smacked him with it. Draw. Right? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Play a wooded foothills as land for turn. Let's make you have it. Oh, cast a grim hireling. Triggeristic. Uh, please don't draw Ben. <laughs> I'm not paying. I got no creatures, so yeah, drawing dead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna point the trigger at your death. What's grim hireling? Sorry, grim hireling is a three-two tiefling rogue. Do you need it's... to know what the abilities does? But no, it's, no, I it's know it's being what cast, though, guys so it's not in play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. So yeah, death right. Three, good call, two. good call. It's floating. It's not on the battlefield. Yeah. Yes. Uh, death right. For sure. Right. I got a combat, and I'm going to attack Ben with my Deathrite Shaman. These are a lot of words I was not expecting to say. Uh, nice. I'll take it. Get two treasure. Okay, I'm going to attempt to pay a black and sacrifice two treasures. And Oh, no, I only have to sacrifice one. And target... Wait, well, how does it read? No, Bowmaster is not reading because... Oh, you're trying to kill the Bowmaster. There. Okay. Bowmaster is a 2-1. No, Bowmaster's a 1-1. One, one. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice a treasure and target Bowmaster. You got it. Orcish is dead. Yes. Nice, finally. And then, yeah, I'll pass. Let's... I think I'll let the Remora go. Draw for turn. Oh, yeah, I'll do a Watery Grave, and then I'll take two damage for sure. Then I'm just going to play a couple lame cards and call it good, I guess. If... Well, there's there's no good there's no good options. So wait, what's the option you're saying though? Sorry, one last time. I think your other option is to just go get the the probably the best mode is just go get Cyclonic Rift. Well, then I'd have to give Wish Wishclaw back. Was... Yeah, but the no, you can, no, you can give it to anybody. You can give you it to me, it to me or um, to uh, Jason. I'm gonna give it and, to Jason. Um, so Rift yeah. the the ring. All right, it's probably a, the best move. But not Jason has yeah. sweet tech in his deck to add wish counters to a permanent. He's been holding onto it this whole time. I've like tried to do that before. <laughs> no, it's great. Psych like, like to hand. All right, so I'll shuffle up here, and then I'm gonna tap two. I'll tap my breeding pool in my temple garden <laughs> to cast baby psych on the one ring. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it bounce. I will pass turn. Uh, untap. I think first, I'm actually going to move straight to combat. <laughs> and I am going to... You have no blockers right now, Ben? Nope. Absolutely, then. I am nope. going to actually swing um, 24 and the two from the kitten at you. So, 26. 26? Yeah. Gonna, Whoa. Uh, okay, I got nothing. Down to three. Okay. Uh, main phase two. I am going to... Ballin's Tomb for two colorless, taking two, going to 23. Tap Badlands and Underground Sea for four. And I'm going to cast the One Ring. Triggeristic, not paying. I would like to, until my next turn, I'd like to immediately activate it, um, putting a Burden Counter on it and drawing a card. I will play a Scalding Turn for turn, because I hadn't played a land. This, I'll tap the Scrub Land for doesn't matter, and I'm going to play a Mana Vault. Oh, I don't want to pay for Rhystic Study. No, I'm going to give you probably one more card. So you can draw yes. off Rhystic. Passing on uh, Mana Vault, if so. Or, I'm sorry, passing on the Displacer Kitten trigger of Mana Vault. But you're oh, no, no, I meant you're... are y'all passing on it like gotcha. yeah. while it's yeah, on yeah. top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Okay, so the trigger resolves. It blinks the One Ring. Boink. And then I would like to, I guess with Mana Vault still in the stack, again, you should do it as early as possible. Tap it again, add a burden encounter, draw a card. Okay, uh, I will um, pass priority again on Mana Vault, and assuming it's good, Mana Vault will yep. resolve. Yep. 
Yep. All right, Mana Vault hits. So the Orc Army is CMC zero. So Dockside's worthless. So I need two and then another tutor. Cast a Chrome Mox, float three colorless to Mana Vault, and use one to pay for your Ristic. Chrome Mox triggers Displacer Kitten. So yet again, I'm asking good on Displacer Kitten. I'm going to target the One Ring again. Good? No response. Right. Just, yeah, just interrupt me, I guess, because it's going to be a thing. Um, it's uh, Boing, and then put a counter back on it, draw a card. Okay, uh, and then now Chrome Mox hits, uh, I assume, and then when it enters the battlefield, I have to exile a non-artifact non-land. I'm going to artifact, if you can believe it, Neoform. I'm going to um, tap the Tundra and the Mana Vault, Mana Mox Diamond, sorry, for two white, and I'm going to put a Grand Abolisher on the stack, and I will use one of the other floating to pay for a stick. I will respond with a Tainted Pact. You have no mana, huh? So you, you might act. Are you paying for that? Obviously not. Nope. Okay, draw. Yeah, I'm going to respond by um, using the one last floating from Mana Vault, tapping Chromox for blue. I'm going to exile Simeon Spirit Guide as a green, and I'm going Elvish. to... Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to hard cast uh, Fierce, targeting your Tainted Pacts, and okay. that will trigger... Oh, well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yep. So Ristic... Yeah, Mystic, it resolves first. I will uh, t tap for red and try to pyroblast your Fierce Guardianship. Fierce Guardianship, yeah, yeah. The results on Fierce. Then you draw a card. Um, yeah, well, you do I, the yeah, whole thing. Ring, draw, activate yeah, it. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I believe Tainted Pact is next. I draw a, a what do you call it, a demonic consultation. Sure. That's an out, yeah. This goes to my hand. No the abolisher, abolisher finally hits. Yeah, uh, so yeah, pass. Should I put you to one, Ben? Yes, let's see what you get. Exiling. One constellation. We'll save you. <gasps> it has to be from your hand to channel. That's, yeah, that's exile. But I do get a charge. What a fast. teaser. Right, because you would have drawn it. Oh, man. That would have been a great. Way to go, Carlos. You ruined it. Well, we'll have to talk about it after, but I think I just cast the Stasis Oracle. I'm going to crack value? my fetch in response. I have nothing for Thoracle, though. I'm gonna, are you paying for it? No. Can I draw? Okay, well, then uh, with the trigger on the stack, I'm going to cast this demonic consultation. Make Peter. With this biggest slow roll. Wow. Uh, tr trigger? Just I'll pay clear. for it. Better. I'm going to cast Force of Negation myself. Pitching Snap. Trigger uh, Displacer Kitten and target. Rustic Study. Trigger as well. Oh, sure. Yeah, yours goes first. I actually am going to crack my fetch and pay with the land that I get. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, no response on the displacer trigger. So, again, boing, boing, boing one ring comes back, uh, add a burden counter. This counters your... Yep. Exiled. Console? Yeah, exiles the uh, console. Passes yeah. Oracle trigger. I will scry two-ish. Okay. Pass turn. I am ready to die. You're still in a... Okay, spot. Woo! They're gonna be like, yeah, Draw. so that guy from one seat, uh, he ain't coming back. Jason could just, if you can kill the Displacer Kitten, that'd could be hilarious. Do something. I feel I'll less play bad. Like, Thran Quarry is my land for turn. So, um, give Cast me. Cast my commander. Tap my underground seat. No, I think that tracks for Exile sure. Simeon Spirit Guide. Cast a Mind Blade Render. And then I will cast a Birds of Paradise. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Did you, too, too, uh, good, too good. I am not pay? paying on any of these. Sorry, I missed the Najila one too. We were all so yeah. Three? Sorry. So Najila, and then the one, next two, one. three things yeah. got cast. That didn't change anything for me. I gave you an because he could win in one. I mean, all he needs is enough, you know, the right cards. Like I'm it's trying. possible. I can't even activate Wish Claw. Nice. Um, I'll go you, to you combat. Have a treasure, right? Oh, and you don't. Wish Cloud doesn't have anything. Is it? Do I just kill Ben? Uh, right, because <laughs> removing the Wish Counter is a part of the cost. So yeah, no, don't I'll kill I'll, me. Don't I'll kill pass. me, dude. I'll pass. Nice. What? Why don't you kill him? I think you do kill him there, actually. But draw too late. Too late. I could I could have tried to kill Ben to an attempt to kill the Displacer Kitten, but I'm playing a Chrome Mox, and I will imprint this time. Deathrite Shaman, I suppose. I'm gonna cast in Eladomri's Call. So this will be the green, and I'll use a white temple garden. I will 
Search for a creature card, reveal it, put it into my hand. Grand Arbiter. And then I'll cast it. So now spells my opponent's cast cost one colorless more. Blue and white spells that I cast cost one less. Cast a bop. And I will pass turn. Hmm. All right, Peter. I wish I had snap in my hand. Feels like you. Yeah, I would right be. There. If I blow this, I think I might just hang up the shoes. Uh, 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 uh. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> Untap. <laughs> Uh, I guess, wait, I don't have this Wish Claw. This is just off my board because it's exiled. Uh, don't untap Mana Vault, but I untap everything. I lose a life to the One Ring first because that's in my upkeep. And then I will activate the One Ring, drawing two. Still not in my draw step yet, so draw one. I think they're both in your upkeep. Now I draw my real card for turn, and then I take one for Mana Vault. So now I go down to, what is that, 20? Land for turn for sure. Gemstone mine comes in with three mining counters, so I have nine mana. Float two colorless with Balin's Tomb taking two going to 18. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna use both of the Balin's Tomb mana so there's no more floating and the white to cast a uh, Draineth Magistrate. Storm count one, which is uh, pretty relevant. And then draw trigger? Yeah, you can draw it. All right, I'm going to move to combat now and I'm going to attack uh, Ben for 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 and a 24, 24. I'll take it all. Wait, kill one of his things. I'll kill a kitten for sure. Before damage. I am double, going double, to... double block. <laughs> With the birds. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I, I'm going to... Yeah, let's see. It's what? This Chromox had um, Neoform, Neoform, so I'm going to tap that for blue, white, and I guess now we're both down to two rainbow sources... Oh, no, I have these two lands, too, actually. Sorry. So blue, white, and then red here. So these three right here. Uh, and I'm going to pay an inc- a taxed brain freeze. I guess targeting myself, because Savine's might be worth it. Um, so that storm count is two, right? Because you didn't cast anything. Yeah, no one can cast anything. Storm count's two. Displacer kitten triggers. Targeting, I guess, it's the one self. ring. Has, has to be, oh, no. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're self that, yeah, the blocks. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So skadoink. It, it's a different game object now. And then Brain Freeze happens, and I mill six. Yep. And then this is right before the lethal damage gets dealt in, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. We got Simeon Spirit Guide, actually Simeon this time. Smothering Tithe, Taiga, City of Brass, Fluster Storm, and Intuition. Okay. So now we move to damage. Take it. All right. Farewell. It's been an honor. I'm going to take a counter off the gemstone mine and tap the Mox Diamond for black and uh, both floating to black. I'm going to play a Douthy as well. Pass turn, my brother. And play my commander, even if I wanted to. Untap. Draw a card. Still didn't draw a land this whole game. Yeah, here we go. We're going to give you both a shot and Mm -hmm. I'm going to time twister. Does that kill you, Jason? So close. I swear, Carlos. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I would have Yagmas will instead, but I can't with Draneth. So. Do you ever? Re- I have no response, Peter. Do you have a response? Oh, to Time Twister? Yeah. No, I don't. I will discard my Neo form in my hand. I finally drew land, you guys. After it's, all of that, I, like I said, now um, we're dead. And now I'm going to Scalding Tarn. Um, pass. I'll, draw. Right, so. I'll go with a uh, Mana Confluence as land for turn. Uh, attempt to cast a Mox Diamond. Pitching windswept teeth mm. to the Dowsy mm. zone. Uh, Overload Cyclonic Rift. There you go. I'm gonna um, pack the negation. Targeting Psych Rift. Triggering the cat. Triggering just kitten. Shoot, yeah. Um, that bounces. I guess the ring. Yeah. Targeting. Uh, tap. Uh, three and quarry and command tower and mm. cast. Uh, snap. Car- targeting kitten. Yeah. Resolves. Perfect. I will untap those same exact lands. Yep, and then one ring blinks now. Yep, and both my spells go to the Douthy zone. As soon as I have priority, would be on. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. I I will have an opportunity to draw with it before you get it. Okay, cool. And then now it's packed, pointing at uh, Rift. Yep, resolves my main phase still, and I will cast Neo form, sacrificing a uh, my mind blade render. Oh, she seems to what? Maybe uh, three. We good on uh, resolving Neo Farm. Yeah, yeah. You can just talk out the rest good. of it if you Mid- want. Mid- yep. I'll get Derevi. Derevi enters the battlefield and will tap down your blocker, Peter. Yep. Drainus. Boink. I forgot the Derevi even did that. Derevi just says I can do whatever I want. Go to combat. Attack with the four. 
They will hit you for a total of, I'm assuming you don't have any blocks, Peter? Nope, Everything just without the can't do anything, yeah. So three, six, seven, eight. And then we have Drevi's triggers. And Dalphy has so many signatures, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. One, two, so I three. Can't off the, oh, I can do the rift anyway. It's an five. Concept. And I'll untap those. And you get two still, treasures. Still in combat. Activate Najila. Untap everything. I hit you for a total of six, seven, eight. It's not at ten. Yeah. yeah. And One then post point. damage, but still in combat, all my creatures, all attacking creatures, will gain trample, lifelink, and haste. And after this phase, additional combat phase, attack again. This time there's two warriors, so I'll attack you with this many. Exact seize lethal for me. Yep. And then I'll get two more treasures. And you gain ten life. Go up to five. And now this time I'll untap one, two, three, four, five, six lands and Do gain three, six, seven, eight life. Activate Agila again. Dave. Untap all of these. I'll attack with everything. At Carlos. Block Najila. With what? All my creatures. Wait, 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 wait. What are they again? One, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, I won't attack with Najila. What? Fine. I blocked her though. But yeah, I'll attack with everybody except for Najila because your combined power is greater than two, right? Uh, my two, one will block your three, two. One, three will block something. Mm -hmm. And my one, two will block another soldier. Okay, I'm going to spend two treasure, cast Abrupt Decay on... Ragavan? Uh, Ragavan. Two of these guys died, right? Mm -hmm. The remaining three will get through, and I'll get two treasures. What three? I only see two. Uh, a one, one. Oh, no, he got blocked. You're right, and he got, he got through. You are correct. So I'll go up to five treasures and untap two lands... Tap two lands, spend three treasures to attack again. I'll block both soldiers. Dockside will trade with a soldier token, and then this one dies to Thassos, now has two damage marked on it. Is that correct? Uh-huh. These two get through for a total of four damage this time. I'll go up to four treasures. I'll untap two lands. Still in combat, activate Najila. With that ability on the stack, unsummon. Just kidding. I don't have it. You got it. You got okay. It. <laughs> nice, Jason. Of all uh, the, dude, that was brutal. All was the complaining grindy wind, you man. still got through. For those of you that stuck around to the end of the video, I want to let you know we are changing up the Kingdoms community a little bit by giving you more chances to join our private Discord. So starting right now, if you're a patron of any level, you're a subscriber on Twitch at any level, or you're a member here on YouTube at any level, you have access to our private Discord. This includes direct access to our players and myself for EDH nights, giveaways, deck lists, and more. For 2024, our EDH game night is the last Tuesday of every month, so join us and have some fun.